Hi and welcome to the demo launch. Today we look at the Lichtlam Audio Key and the Gate Noise Gate. Lichtlam Audio is a company based in Berlin, Germany, and the key in the gate is probably their most famous pedal, but I also made a demo of the Gehenna Distortion pedal, which is absolutely fabulous, and you should check it out. On the front side, you have the really cool and mythical design, and typical for Lichtlam, it's in black and silver. Then there's the on and off switch, uh, silent switch. Here's the threshold knob, which controls when the gate opens and closes. We have the key in and key out, and here's the connection for the power supply, 9 volt. Uh, we have in and outs for the gate, and how this all works and how you connect it, I'll explain later. Uh, it's, by the way, it's a true bypass, and everything is analog based here. Then on the inside. There is a little extra potentiometer and what you can do here is you can control the output level of the gate. So either uh, if you need to compensate the effect loop, because sometimes they have different volumes than when you don't use it, then it comes in handy or if you for some reason want to boost the signal. What I want to show you and try out today is for one how to connect it to an amp but also to a pure pedal board rig and then also I want to try different guitars with passive, active and single coil pickups um, just to find out how it helps with uh, electrical interferences. So with my guitar I go into the key in and the only thing I would put in front of that would be a tuner and from the key out I go into whatever comes in front of the M. So in this case, I have this little boost here. Then from here, it connects to the M's in. Now, here, the input, I have to connect that to the send of the M. And the out here, this needs to be connected to everything that's like in, in the effect loop of the M. So uh, time-based effects like this reverb and from the reverb I connect with the effect return of the amp and then we're good to go. Okay, now let's check the pedal board version. So we have our noise gate. Oops. The only thing I would put in front of the noise gate would be a tuner. And the reason being, and the reason being, if you have the tuner in front of everything, then really everything gets muted when you stop. And if you have it after the noise gate, then the key input of the noise gate still would get triggered when you tune and it opens up and all the pedal noise would come out, so that wouldn't make sense, so put it in front of the noise gate. Now from the key out you go into all the boosts, distortions, or if you have a chorus or so, everything you would normally put in front of the amp. I'm gonna put the tube screener, my ref distortion, and I think that's okay for now. Um, so I have the distortion and then I can boost it um, to make even more noise just for us to see how it works. Okay, let's connect those. Now from here we go into the in of the gate. Now from the out of the gate we go into all the time-based effects like delay or reverb. And from here we go into our speaker simulation. In this case it's the cap amp from two notes. Now let's connect all those. Okay, let's check the sound. Um, I only made a, like a rough sketch for the speaker simulation, but it'll work for now. With a noise gate. So it's not too noisy as it is, but well, let's add some more um, distortion. Let's turn on the tube streamer. Let's get off. Way more noise. Ah, let's just... Okay, there it starts to pick back. Here. 
Now we can uh, check the threshold of the noise gate. Still too much. Could be like a bit tighter for that style, so. Bit less. But let's check a more realistic sound. I mean, this is pretty cool. You could boost it a bit. Now here's a scenario about why using a gate while recording um, might be a good choice. So when I play something that's like really um, playing around with the time-based effects, um, and I play something like this, In between, now you hear all the noise of the pedals, if I add the gate. Now it's really just the notes and not the noise from the pedals. Now one thing I want to show you is what happens when I have the time-based effects in front of the gate. So now I'm going from the distortion to the delay and the reverb and then into the in of the gate and from here to the um, speaker simulation. So here's the sound without the gate. And with the gate. Also somehow interesting. So what I'm trying now is what happens if I go into the key in and then to the key out, but don't use that here. Nothing happens because uh, the gate like works in this in, in the loop here. And if I just use those, it's basically just going through the gate without doing anything. So that's uh, pretty useless. Let's try when I just use the in and out and not the key in and key out. Okay, now I'm basically not using the key function and now I have the gate uh, in front of everything, so... It does help a bit. It still blocks the noise from the guitar, or it gates the noise from the guitar, but um, all the noise from the pedals is still um, coming through. So if I make it even noisier, you will hear um, all the noise. Now I'm gonna put the gate after the distortions and um, I'll still not use the key. Uh, inputs and outs, so I basically have uh, the, the gate just after the effects and it will gate all the noise that's coming after that, but it's not getting triggered by the guitar itself, but by the noise or by the sound coming from the effects. Let's hear how that sounds.
okay, that actually still works and um, you get rid of the noise from the pedals, so that's a really silent version and um, does sound okay, but in comparison, for me, um, I definitely feel the, the, the noise gate uh, reacting somehow different. It doesn't feel as organic. Before, it was just more precise because it was reacting to the um, clean signal of the guitar, and now it gets all the distortion and all the noise and reacts to that, so it's just more precise and organic feeling if you use the key in and out as it is intended to. Uh, yep, this might still be a version if you're running out of cables or so, um, it still works. Okay, now let's check the different guitars and pickups. So this is a humbucker and passive. Now with a guitar with active pickups. Now with a single coil guitar, because you have the most electrical interferences. So I know if I hold it like this, um, it's pretty bad. Now it's better. That's just how it is. So... And normally you wouldn't use as much gain probably with this kind of guitar, so... Um, maybe let's just dial it down a bit. So one thing I observed now was when I use the delay and I engage the gate, then it sounds a bit like the volume drops a tiny bit. So what I can do now is actually use the trim pot inside of the um, key in the gate and then adjust that. So let's do that. a little bit too much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, I hope I could give you a good impression of what the Lichtlärm Audio Key and the Gate has to offer. And if you want to find out more, check their website in the description below. And if you liked the video, well, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and well, leave me a comment. Bye!